Oh, what does it say? Intel Celeron J1900 4. What do we got here? Got ourselves a new workstation. Working man. Listen to that baby purr. Anyway, this is an old Acer. Celeron. I think it is a uh, quad core. I'm not sure if it's a uh, dual or quad, like eight core, you know, virtual. Do I have a terminal right here? Down here we got a co-pilot. Look at him. <laughs> Can't have a co-pilot? Nah. Got the cat in his own chair. He's sleepy, sleepy boy. Hey! He sees the camera thing. Look at him. Attack! Let's get a tour of the guts. Oh my god, it keeps happening. I've had this problem like four times now. I tried non secure, secure, create my own partitions. That's what we got on the inside 500 gigs SATA SSD. That boy water cooled? Nah, it's air cooled, baby. Yeah. No graphics card using a 128 megabyte video memory. Mm. God damn. Mm. 80 plus power supply. Damn. Is that switch I was talking about? Let's see. Hot glue, baby. Beyond limits. Bro, please. Please. I never had this problem before. I don't know why it's happening now. <laughs> oh man. It's that saying, you know, I try the same thing over and over again. No change. This time, running boot repair. Let's see what this does. I think I have a uh, secure boot disabled. I waste like my entire day on this. What is that upload? Hmm. It's in, man. It worked. <sighs> Thank you, open source. It said something about locked in VRAM. I'm just like, you yeah, know, I'm gonna do it. Here's my live USB. So it's running. We Gucci. There we go, baby. This one's running VGA. And that one's HDMI. Mm. Damn. What a setup. Mm. Mm. Long time ago, I uh, scratched this display and I used a razor blade. No. There was like a, something stuck to the screen. I used a razor blade like this to clean it. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I was permanently scarred. You can fix it with like some kind of epoxy that fills in the but yeah, just a reminder. Me being a dummy. I'm just doing the updates now. Usually when I have like a weak computer, I'll use a i3 WM. I might do that. I'll pull up the specs real quick of this thing. Yeah, so it looks like this thing came out in 2015. Not terrible. DDR3. 8 gigs of RAM maximum. Mm. Celeron J1900. 2 gigahertz. 
Yeah, 2015. It's slow. Updating. I don't know why this like weird, I don't say fetish, but like using old computers. It's like crippling yourself on purpose. I don't know why. I mean, uh, that computer over there is an i9. It has no graphics card, but yeah, that's my daily driver with the ultra wide. But over here, I don't know, it's like focus mode or zone or something. So, uh, I'll get a NeoFetch on there and then a uh, VS Code. That'll be the basics that I need for now. I'll get Node on there. Okay, so looking at the specs, it says it does not have hyper-threading. So that's why it doesn't show up as eight cores. Like four physical, four virtual. All right, rest in peace. This is like such a useful app I've made a long time ago. It's a basic uh, URL based, like full page text pad, like rest. Uh, anyway, so this is like on my local network and all my computers that are on the same network can access it. You can just share stuff this way. This is my VS Code setup. Import it into this new one. I have a license for Monokai Pro Spectrum. Yeah, and I gotta install my other crap. Haskell! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Got the uh, Node 20 on there. And I got my. Uh, Bantawing blog project, I just started it. Next TypeScript. Look at all that red already. Seeing red. Oh! Yep, there it is. Spawn my dreams. Laser Spire. Nine years ago.